Hey, what's good, everybody? This is Adnan under AD in the Clutch, and just want to talk about some breaking news that just happened between uh, Jalen Brown and the Boston Celtics, um, where they agreed to a five-year, $304 million contract. That is crazy. That is the richest deal in NBA history. And uh, just congratulations to Jalen Brown. I mean, I do believe he deserved it. Um, he is a great player overall. Um, I know a lot of people are going to talk about, you know, what happened this past play playoff series, but, um, you know, like, nevertheless, you know, like, he's still the best player, you know, like, besides Jason Tatum on the team, you know, and, like, honestly, like, what better options were there out there? I mean, like, you know, at least for stability-wise, you know, and also, like, who can match, if not, you know, be greater than Jalen Brown for the foreseeable future. I mean, you got to remember, uh, Jalen Brown, he's only 26 years old. He's just entering his prime, you know, and the fact that, like, the Celtics have been either in the conference finals or the finals for the past three or four years is like really impressive right there. You know, I would not try to tear it down, you know, and I knew the Celtics, I know they thought about that, you know, and they were going to go all in on the two J's and Tatum and Brown, because um, I knew that as soon as they traded both Marcus Smart and Grant Williams, when I saw those trades, I had a feeling I was like, I think they're going to make a way for uh, Jalen Brown to uh, give him this contract, you know, and, and they should, you know, because um, he deserved it. He's been loyal to the organization. And um, also, I do feel like the Celtics kind of owe it to him, you know, because Jalen Brown has been threatening to leave the Celtics because um, the Celtics did include him in uh, trade talks for uh, Kevin Durant, which um, understandably so. Jalen Brown thought it was a slap in the face, given that, uh, you know, he performs similar numbers to KD and he's a lot younger and he's more dependable health wise than Durant. But um, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> This is probably more of a win, honestly, for Brown than the Celtics in the aspect that, um, you know, Brown eventually got what he wanted, you know, the richest contract in NBA history. But the Celtics, um, because of, like, things that was going on between him and Brown behind the scenes, they kind of, like, in a way were forced to, and they had to give up some assets in the process. But, um, but overall, for the organization, it was still a win because, um, you know, they're going in all in on their on their two main guys and that this is our team. These are the guys we're going to build around and we're going to like get players for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So, and it's the right thing to do because Jalen Brown, he came up an amazing season last season, averaging 26.6 points per game, 6.9 rebounds a game, three, three and a half assists per game, 1.1 steals per game, shooting 49.1% from the field and 33.5% from three point range. Those are really impressive numbers right there. And, uh, you know, like I said, um, Jalen Brown, he's only entering his prime. So I do believe his numbers, you know, especially um, given this role with this contract, you know, it's only going to go up from here as long as he's healthy, of course. And overall, there's a great deal for the Celtics. You know, like this is um this is very important because um had they, you know, try to make a trade for him, whether um, last year with Durant or even with Damian Lillard, you know, it would just show a lot of a dysfunction within the Celtics. And, um, you know, because of that instability, you know, the Celtics would not be um, serious title threats because there's a lot of uh, dysfunction going on. But the Celtics, they're going all in. Um, they're keeping uh, Joe Mazzulla, which is the right thing to do. He was um, a first year coach who still made it to the conference finals. That's impressive right there. Jalen Brown, like I said, you know, he's been loyal to the organization for many years. So um, it's, it's the right thing to do for him, you know, to, for him to stay and get, get paid. And um, yeah, it's time for them to uh, go all in. You know, I do believe that now they are gonna be um, serious threats, especially with the Porzingis trade. Um, I do believe that for Celtics and Celtics fans, they do believe that this upcoming season is their year because um, the fact that they traded Marcus Smart, who I personally really like a lot, you know, especially for his energy and for his defensive tenacity, he was a defensive player of the year. So, uh, you know, he does bring a lot to the table. But the fact they're going um, all in on size and, uh, you know, they're making a huge gamble with uh, Porzingis, who is a great scorer and he's uh, he's improved this game from Washington. But we don't know exactly if, um, you know, he's going to be dependable come playoff time because of his health concerns. So um, it's a it's a big gamble for the Celtics, you know, going all in on the Jays and then uh, making that trade for Porzingis. But um I don't know. I do believe that it's a good it's a good move, and um, who knows? Maybe we might see the Celtics back in the finals. But uh, but Celtics fans, uh, let me guys uh, let let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Um, I would love to hear your guys' opinion on the whole um, situation uh, with the contract extension for Brown. What do you think of the Porzingis trade? And um, 
you know, like, do you believe this is your year now? Or um, did they overpay Jalen Brown? Or would you rather go somewhere else? Like, please let me know down below. I would love to hear you guys out and uh, talk with you guys soon. But um, yeah, um, please like and subscribe to this channel. I certainly appreciate you all. God bless you all. And uh, we'll talk soon.